So what's interesting in the European business angel market is that all the business angel networks work differently. So I, for instance, run B Angels, uh, the French-speaking business angel network, working on the Brussels and Walloon region. Uh, but in Belgium, there's also another network called Van Vlaanderen, and we work very differently. How did B Angels achieve uh, 250 companies funded in the last 18 years, 14 million euros invested. Well, we did that through different ways. The first thing is we are extremely active to uh, create the marketplace. So on the side of the entrepreneurs, we run uh, many trainings, information sessions, not only about what is a business angel, uh, but also what does it mean to have equity in your business. Why should you take equity in your business? And what is the difference with uh, having a loan if you can afford a loan? Uh, so it's really going out of our core business of putting uh, you know, the investors and the entrepreneurs together. We really do the awareness raising near the entrepreneurs. You know, Think about angel investing if you have a high growth innovative company. And we do the same with the angel investors. So we don't just wait for them to join the network. We do a lot of awareness raising sessions, uh, we go to different clubs, we work with numerous banks to let these individuals who want to invest in the real economy know that they can actually become a business angel and join a business angel network. In terms of the entrepreneurs, we do a lot of work to get them prepared to pitch in front of investors. But we as a network can certainly carry out some pre-selection because we know our group, we know our community, and uh, we know what could be of interest to business angels. So we do this pre-selection and we train the entrepreneurs to pitch to the uh, investors. In general, they only get one chance to pitch in front of the investors. We want to make sure that they deliver the type of information which is expected in an investment event. So they're not talking to their clients, they're not talking to their providers, they're talking to potential investors. And our angels want to know several things that are important such as how much financing are you raising? What are you going to do with that financing? Uh, how do you envisage the exit of your investors in five to seven years? So these are types of questions that our investors are expecting entrepreneurs to answer. That's what we do for entrepreneurs and we uh, run a number of training sessions for them, really that are dedicated to founders as well. So for instance, we organize training events with our legal partner so that they can learn more of uh, what does it mean to open up your capital to third parties and um, how does a shareholder agreement work when you have third-party investors uh, in your capital as a founder. So we do a lot for the, for the companies. We also help them when they have first raised capital from B Angels members, we help them through different processes. They can also refinance their business through a new fund we have set up called Scale. And it's, this fund is only dedicated to B Angel members and companies in which our members have invested. What we also offer to the entrepreneurs is uh, links to uh, international networks. But I think that the marketplace, of course, would not be efficient uh, enough if we didn't do as much work with the investors. So it's not only sufficient to uh, identify and train the entrepreneurs, we also need to identify and train the investors. So we do a lot of training for the investors. And we also have created different services that adapt to uh, their level of interest uh, in the real economy, uh, their level of time availability, and the level of financial commitment that they want to invest in the startups. So B Angels has created four different ways you can invest in startups, either as a direct traditional business angel or with smaller amounts where you learn how to become a business angel and you get coaching or you can also uh, co-invest with our experienced angel investors and benefit from the recent fiscal incentives. So I think that you can see that we are very far from uh, you know this very simple idea of a business angel network being a marketplace. Uh, we have numerous services and I've only touched the tip of the iceberg that we have developed uh, so that uh, we have achieved I would say 20 to 40 investment rounds invested every year uh, in the in the last years. Thank you.